Hey everybody, Patrick Parson Workshop here. This is an update video to the feral cat house video that I did a couple years ago. So I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions and also give you an update on the feral cats. So stick around. You're watching Patrick Parson Workshop. Let me give you an update on the cats first. So we had two cats that you saw in the video. We've got Leon, the dark gray cat, and we've got Ethan, the black and white cat. So unfortunately, uh, I guess it was a little less than a year after we made that video, Ethan got run over by a car in front of our house. We didn't see it, but my wife uh, came upon him just after it happened. Uh, very traumatic incident. Um, we racked our brains about what we could have done different. See, the problem uh, with, with Ethan, uh, that he had to be an outside cat, is he was a lot more feral, a lot more skittish than Leon was. A lot of people remarked that it looked like Leon wanted to come in the house. Uh, and he was very curious about coming in the house. So we wonder if maybe at some point in his life he wasn't uh, someone's cat, maybe an inside cat. Ethan was a lot more skittish, but they were bonded, so we couldn't bring Leon in because there's no way Ethan would come in. Uh, so we got him the cat house and actually two cat houses. Didn't really need but the one though because they both seemed to sleep together in one or the other cat house and they actually preferred the smaller cat house in the original video, which I'll link right here. They preferred that more, so they would both be in there. And there was room for both of them in there. They fit in there pretty nicely. Um, but what we did is uh, we, we moved recently this past August, August of 2020. And so at that point, we took that opportunity to make Leon an inside cat. We had him uh, mostly as an inside cat. After Ethan got run over, we made Leon an inside cat. So he stayed inside the majority of the time. He still wanted to go outside because he still had a lot of that feral cat um, in him. And so we'd let him out a couple times a day and then we tried to make it just once a day for like an hour. Uh, but sometimes it was hard to get him back in. Um, but when we moved here to this new house, we took that opportunity to just make him a totally inside cat. Uh, and he's adjusted to it pretty well. He doesn't seem uh, to want to go outside that much. Every now and then he's kind of curious about the doors, uh, but he's totally an inside cat now. He's doing great. He loves our Chihuahua, Stanley. Stanley is not crazy about him. I think he kind of does like Leon, uh, but you know he tries to be the boss of Leon and, and sometimes he'll, you know, uh, get a little bit snippy with him just to tell him to get out of his face. But uh, Leon loves him, tries to cuddle up with him all the time. Sometimes Stanley will let him, and it's really sweet. Sometimes Stanley doesn't want that. But anyway, he's an inside cat. He is loving it. We're loving having him inside, and everything's going good. So thanks for asking. 